Today we're going to be talking about a special principle called Cavalieri's principle. And what Cavalieri's principle is, is if you have two solids lying between parallel planes, so you have the plane that is on the base, that the base is on, and then the plane, say that the top, I was almost about to say lids, of our cylinders are on. So if I have two parallel planes, or even if I had a plane that sliced our cylinders, and they have equal heights, so the height of our right cylinder is going to be equal to the height of the oblique, and all cross sections are at equal distance. What a cross section is, is if I were to take and I were to slice using a knife our cylinder, our right cylinder, and slice the oblique cylinder. So if I were to slice those, and those slices were the equidistant between the bottom plane, or from our bases, and this area is equal to that area, then our solids are going to have equal volumes. So basically what we have is if you can say that the base area of a cylinder, a right cylinder, and the base area of an oblique cylinder are equal, and the two heights are equal, then I can use the formulas that I've given you to find volumes. Not to find surface area, but just to find volumes. So our first example, we have an oblique cylinder now, where the volume, find the volume of a cylinder, where the height is 16, and the diameter of the base, so that whole distance is 10, so our radius is just 5. Well, we know volume is area of the base times the height. So I have 25 times 16 times pi, and that is 400 pi. And our units are centimeters cubed. Next example. Find the volume of the pentagonal prism, given the base has an area of 108. And we need to find the height because it's going to be, our volume is going to be area of the base times our height. Well, we know the area of the base is 108. Now, I need to find the height, and that's a little bit of work. We have our pentagonal prism. It has this angle, the angle of depression, I guess that would be, or angle of elevation, would be 60 degrees. Our side length, each one of our sides is 16, so we have to find H in that right triangle. This side length is opposite the 30 degree side, so that's half the hypotenuse. That means that the side opposite the 60 degree is 8 root 3. So therefore I plug in for H. 8 root 3, and now all you have to do is multiply the 108 and the 8 together, and that's 864 root 3, and I've given us units, so let's make sure we get give us units back to me of centimeters cubed. There is your lesson question where you have to find the volume of that oblique cylinder. I give you the height and the radius. Please make sure that's submitted on time. 